Hello friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 13 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about array type columns in PySpark. So basically, we will be creating one data frame and in that data frame, we will be adding a column which is array type and we will see how it look like and what are the use cases. So you get a basic idea about what is array type in PySpark data frame columns. Okay. So let me practically show you that. So let me minimize and let me go to my browser where I have already opened my workspace. If I go to compute, there is already one cluster running. Go to workspace, users, Mahir, and here let me try to create a new notebook. And this notebook name may be array type notebook. Okay. Python is a default language, cluster we are attaching it. So let me hit create button to create the notebook whatever we are just trying. So in couple of seconds it will create a notebook and it will change the UI as well. You can see. Let's close this pop up here. So this is my notebook. Okay. So now let's try to create a data frame. So if you have watched all my previous videos by this time you know how to create a data frame with some dummy hard coded values. So let me try to do this. Data. Data is a list. Okay. And inside the list we have two pools every two pool represent one row okay so let's say i have like a b c is first column value now coming to the second column value in first row i am using two pool here once uh, once again okay sorry let's not use two pool here let's try to use so let me close the two pool and here let's try to use a list so this list syntax is nothing but like array syntax actually so here let's try to use values maybe numbers like 1 comma 2 okay so this entire thing represents one row let me copy this then paste second row and here maybe m n o values are 4 comma 5 so this is another row then next let me copy this entire code and let me paste it here so last row totally three rows i am creating and maybe 7 and 8 okay so if you closely observe so list from here to here first row in first row first column value abcd and then second column value is list or array you can say okay so now what i will be doing is i will be creating a variable called schema okay and inside this variable i am using two column names maybe this first column name is id where abc mno xyz will come and second column name is maybe numbers okay so now spark keyword will give you spark session object you know that if you have seen all my previous videos so please watch all the videos in the PySpark playlist in the sequence order why because all the videos have some interlink with the next video so let's pass this data variable and schema variable to my data create data frame function and this entire code is going to create a data frame so that data frame i am uh, saving it inside this df so now df dot show method will give you the representation of the data frame in a tabular format and here i am also using df dot print schema to see the schema of the data frame so let me hit shift enter to execute this code you can see command is running here and in couple of seconds this command execution will complete and then we can see this data frame you can see id column numbers column ID column values are A, B, C, M, N, O, X, Y, Z. If you see the number columns, it came as it is. I mean, like how the I passed the list or array. Now, if you see the print schema output, ID column, which is a string type, numbers column, which are array type. I never mentioned anywhere this column data type, but still, how it is coming? Create data frame function, what it will do? Based upon type of data you pass, it will try to infer the schema. It will try to take the schema or data type automatically. So, with this, it is clear that it's an array, right? So, here I, I nowhere mention that it is an array. So, for example, if you want to mention it explicitly, it's an array type and all. As I said in my last video, where I have explained about structure type and structure files, you need to create complete schema as a structure type object and that object, you have to pass it here. So, in the schema variable, let's try to create a struct type object. So, as I said in my last video, we need to import struct type and struct field first. So from PySpark dot 
sql dot types we have to import there is something called structure type okay so sorry there is something called structure type comma let's try to import structure field as well and also let's try to import string type so there is something called string type and also let's try to import integer type as well so we imported all these classes now structure type structure type is nothing but like collection of structure fields so we know this so here we have to use a collection that means list syntax and then let's try to pass on every collection item as a structure field so to do that i will do it in a multiple lines instead of writing the code in a single line so that's the reason i'm using this slash in python then let's use another slash and here first item in the structure type is structure field of so this will create a field field so first field means column so this abc mno xyz right so i want to give a that column name as id and that column data type if you see string types right so i have to pass the data type also string type okay so this is first field in the collection from here to here then comma then we have to use the second field as well right so again struct field then in the second field i want the column name to be numbers and uh, this type is array type here see this is array this is array and this is also array so i want to explicitly mention that data type for this numbers column as array type so for that we have to import array type as well here so comma arr control space see array type so let's use this array type here array control space will give the intelligence array type so whenever you try to use the array type inside the array type constructor you have to pass the what kind of data that array will contain for example here this array will contain all the integers and if you see the previous output also numbers is a array type and every item or every element in the numbers array is long type similarly maybe string type maybe integer type so like that we have to define so for that array type we have to pass like so let me pass integer type why because all my array elements are integers so this structure type is going to create this entire structure object and save into this variable and that variable i am passing it now so now if i execute this code here numbers will come as a array type element will come as a integer type let me practically show you that shift enter to execute this cell command executed now if you see numbers is a array type element is a integer type and i am explicitly mentioning that as well so not only that usually if you want to see here array type takes data type how i know that because previously what i did i used this help function to the help function i passed this array type and when i executed this this help function will give you complete documentation it says it is a class and this class will take data type you can see examples also okay so that's how you can see that so now let me delete this cell whatever i added just now so that's it so let me go back to presentation so the same examples whatever i have explained it is mentioned here so here we are creating a data frame without mentioning data type array type explicitly but here we are mentioning the data type and we are passing that okay so now once you create once you have a array type column using indexes you can access every element from that array actually so for that let me practically show you with this example so now let's go back to my uh, code here so here if i zoom this so this is what we created it right now what i want is i want another column here called first number and that column will contain should contain first element of every array row okay so now now let me show you show you that how how that happens actually so let me execute this cell once again shift enter so now our data frame has that data now on top of the data frame we can use with the column function if you know previous videos with the column function will help you to create a new rows so using with the column function i can create first number column and in this column what is the value you want you want to define it here so i want in this column the value should be like this so let me column of column of uh, so which column i want to take this numbers column so on top of this numbers column it will give entire array take the value from the first index so first index means zero first position that means index zero so first position will start with the index zero that will also i will practically show you this so let me practically show you that as well here so here 
let me use display function to the display function let me pass my data frame and let me hit shift enter to execute this cell now if you see here numbers is a array type and if i expand this at zero index we have value one at one index we have value two why because indexes will start from zero so now i am saying take the value from the zeroth index that means one will be taken from here and here four will be taken if you see this four will be taken and in the third row if you see this seven will be taken okay so this is how it works so let me uh, execute this up show function here on top of this data frame and see whether we will be able to see the results or not so there is some error column is not defined okay so why because we have to import this column also uh, let me do one thing instead of writing this syntax i can write this syntax as well data frame dot numbers numbers will give you that numbers column on top of that first index you, i think you can try this one also let me execute see it created a first number and that call uh, that that first number column contains first position values of this array so that's how you can fetch array elements as well using the indexes uh, not only that if you want to combine for example i want to combine this uh, uh, multiple numbers into single set of array something like that will that is possible yes that is possible so let me show you what i mean by that so let me try to use a data and let's try to create a new data frame here so in the tuple i have like 1 comma 2 this is first row then 3 comma 4 this is second row okay and then let's try to use schema it is one variable and here first column name is num1 then second column name is num2 now let's try to use this park dot create data frame function to this let's pass our data and let's pass our schema and it will create a data frame and give it back into df variable then df dot show so let me execute this here and see what will happen see we will be creating a data frame with number one column number two column and we have values now i want third column like numbers that should contain array of all these numbers so that means array of one comma two then second row array of three comma four how to do that so for that what we can do is here let me remove this code here so df dot with column function so to the with column function so i want my new column name to be like numbers and then here i should say like uh, it should create a array of this uh, one comma two so if you if i see the presentation the same thing so what we are doing we are using this array function to create a array type data type column and we are combining all these values okay so let me practically show you that so we should use this array function so for that what we should do is we have to import that array function from pyspark dot sql dot there is something called functions import here we can import this call function let's import call function also and also let's import this array function also so array okay so this one so now what i can do here array of array of this will create a array of values whatever you supply so here i will use column of like number one column not only that then comma take the second column and column name is num2 so, so that's it so let's try to use dot show function and let me shift enter to execute this code see now it created a third column called numbers and it has this array type column so to make sure this is array type column or not what you can do you can simply use print schema also on top of it so let me do one thing let me remove this show function this entire code is going to create a data frame so let me save the data frame in df1 then df1 dot show and also df1 dot print schema let me execute this shift enter now you can see numbers which is array element long okay so let's go back to presentation so that's it in this video i hope you got like what is array type column so array type will call, column will contain values like array you can compare it like a list in python and uh, each value will be having some index this is zeroth index this is first index this is second index you can access these values using that indexes as well so i hope you got it thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much